And one of the things that I thought of is, you know, if you're thinking about your next YouTube <laughs> video, oh gosh, what on earth am I going to do? And it doesn't matter if you're in like, I don't know, loan refinancing or you're in showing YouTube creators how to um, improve their YouTube profile or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, mm -hmm. If you can get some tarot cards or even get them online, you can pull cards online. It's just think about, okay, what's my next, what's what's some inspiration for my next uh, video content topic, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll get, yeah, you do this too, Faye, and we'll, we'll have a little play with it. So, <laughs> oh, great. So, like, let's say um, if I'm in, like, let's do loan refinancing. It's funny that I brought that up because now we've got the Ace mm -hmm. of Pentacles and Pentacles is very much about money. It looks like a giant coin. And mm -hmm. even if you look at this imagery, um, you'll see, like, you can start to get some ideas of what this card might be talking about. So there's this giant like hand coming out with the coin on it. And it's as if there's a new opportunity, a new financial opportunity being shown to you. And mm -hmm. you really need to take that, make that decision. Am I going to accept the opportunity and then walk through this little um, gateway? And behind that are some of the mountains and the mountains can really talk about um, the challenges, you know, like, yes, this golden opportunity, but you're going to need to work for it. And so then you might go, oh, well, that's interesting. wonder what I could do with a video around that. So maybe in loan refinancing. I don't know. This is not even my area of expertise. I don't know why I've chosen it. But um, That was a great example. I'll keep going. <laughs> but it might be like how, how to evaluate the right loan refinancing options for you. And then uh, not just what looks great on paper, but, you know, what, what else comes? Like what is that hard work? that comes mm -hmm. after the opportunity. What will you need to do to really maximize that? So there's a video content that you could do just by looking at a picture in a card. You can always go and look up the meaning online as well, and that might give you some insight. Um, and it might just send you off in, in a direction, particularly if you've been creating content for a while and sometimes mm -hmm. you get a little bit stuck and you think, what's next? So Faye, mm -hmm. what did you, did you draw a card? Let's see if we can find Oh, it. I wanna like, uh, yeah, I. I, first of all, I thought that example was so interesting because of the financial downturn. I mean, there's a lot of like, for instance, layoffs in the US and that when you pull that card, I was just thinking, you know, there are a lot of, you know, senior engineers like Google, Facebook, they're making enormous amount of money for many years, having that comfort and that cushion to sit on. And that that's something that, you know, they always visualize, right? They've really done it, achieved it. And now if they're laid off, like to me, that mountain represents, you know, certain obstacles, but maybe behind that mountain, uh, there are new opportunities that they just couldn't yeah. see before. So uh, I want to show people how to shuffle. This is shuffling cards is like very challenging for me. But uh, <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to pull a card right here. And uh, I, oh my God, this is like, should I be scared? It's a hangman. <laughs> Never be scared by a card. I know sometimes they might look or sound a bit scary, <laughs> but no. Yeah. So just start describing. Tell me, what do you see in this picture? Oh, I, I love where we're going with this. So first of all, I see a person that's like upside down. And, you know, and then at the same time, there's, you know, his or her uh, feet, uh, you know, for one foot is tied to the tree upside down. And then, but there's, there's a tree behind it. To me, it signifies growth. And sometimes I also see like when, like, first of all, I'm not even relying on anything. I personally, I don't have any experience memorizing the cards, but to me, it also signifies like a new vision, right? Like when, I remember when we were so playful, when we were kids, I love being upside down. Uh, that's kind of my comfort zone when I was a kid. But also I know a lot of friends from Cirque du Soleil, literally that's their comfort zone. I'm thinking about you, Gassia Afterton. And, um, uh, so it actually to me is there's a new it's kind of a new vision where maybe sometimes i like oh what i'm doing now maybe i do just the opposite and see what happens uh, so these are the thoughts yes that's awesome and you know notice like that halo around his head as well because that is that kind of new insight new vision um Ooh. and i love the analogy of you know when you go upside down the world looks entirely different and that yeah. is sometimes we need to do that, like look at things completely from a different angle to see things um, in a new way. And then, you know, what, how could that translate into a YouTube video for you? Like what would a topic look like with that in mind? Yeah, to me, I think they're, they're, it's a new mindset. So uh, I can think of a number of 
you know, YouTube video ideas and think about the opposite. So for instance, one of the things we do is how not to do something or the way that you should not, you know, if you're trying to trying to maybe um, talk about a website or a software, like what are the reasons not to use that? And yeah. uh, kind of the opposite ways, or even for us to, for me to think about creative work, for instance, one of the videos um, that I did, uh, which I wouldn't say it's the most popular video, but several clients ended up watching that video and hired me because uh, it was about a live streaming tool. Instead of using it and say in this one minute, in this three minute, I'm going to show you how to go live. And that's kind of what the software was about. It's going live, like very frictionless. But I, when I use the software, I said, I'm going to do the opposite of just recording uh, my take on this. And the video was about 10 minutes long for me as a first time user and actually looking into each option, slowing things down and not skipping any clip, you know, clicks and things like that. So people love watching that video because we were like, I know exactly I can follow her you know, throughout the entire journey and uh, just opposite thinking sometimes really helps. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. Yes. It's kind of like the what not to do. Um, mm. And, you know, another element of hanged man is about like temporary pause and suspension. So it's almost like, Hey, you're doing this thing. <laughs> Stop doing it. Do this mm. instead. <laughs> mm. um, so there you go. Like look at just how one card and, and you didn't even look it up in the book. You just worked off the picture, which is exactly what I recommend people do if they're new to tarot. Um, mm -hmm. And you've already generated some different ideas that you could use in your own content. So you can see how a tool like this can just be that creative inspiration um, for anyone. It doesn't matter if you know about tarot or you don't.